Let's get right to it. Welcome back to Harmon Homestead. Let's do a little garden tour today. All right, I've got a purple cayenne that is blooming. We've got calendula. I have one sage plant there. This bush, I've tried to get rid of and I can't. It grew back up through my poor man's raised bed landscape border here. Look, it's in full bloom. We've got kale. We have calendula. Look at that, they're starting to bloom. I've got heads everywhere opening up. Now we're gonna use this calendula. We're gonna do some videos on it. Carrots, my biggest sunflower is gone. He's just gone, I don't know what happened. Radish going to seed, this lettuce mix. All of this is the seed. That's what you harvest off that, off that. but I thought it was pretty, so I said, let's just let it roll. I've got a tomato plant back here, hydrangea. We went through all this. My pumpkins, I've shown you that. Look at the corn, it's huge. Cherry tomato, he's huge over the bedroom window. Xenia's about to bloom. We've got a bell pepper here. I believe that's lilac. He's covered in little bell peppers. Our Jahardales, borage, that's about to open. Okra, it's getting taller every video, y'all see it. This right here, look at this pumpkin. He's, he's jumping on up. We've had a lot of rain, perfect conditions. Basil. Another cherry tomato. Our borage has begun to bloom back there. We've got tons of borage. More zinnias is all just mixed in together. Bell pepper, he's loaded. Now guys, this is all around my landscape. These pumpkins need fertilizing all around my landscape. Look at this Jahardale. We've got sunflowers in the back, some red okra, and at the very bottom, Got a pumpkin. So there's lettuce, look at this. So this is how you transform your landscape. Y'all have seen this since the day I planted it. Look at it, it's in all its glory. <laughs> We've got tomatoes everywhere, banana peppers, pumpkins, corn. Corn's not doing that great. That was an experiment here, but it's working. Xenia's blooming. Aren't they beautiful? I sit on my front porch up there and I can see all of this overlooking our pasture. It's gorgeous. Next year, I'm gonna do it different. But even in the fall, I'm gonna do it different. I'm gonna flip this around, but this right here, the zinnias will grow in the heat. They're beautiful, they're cheap, they're easy. Good deal. Well, hey, Briscoe. We've got, um, I've picked banana pepper off these. We've got bell pepper, all sorts of our black tomatoes, like black cream, black brandy wine. They're loaded. We've been harvesting Little cherries here. That's our uh, husky cherry tomato. We've got three Long Island cheese pumpkins. They're doing good, but they're traveling towards the sun to the left. It's just, it's filled in. It looks great. It really does. Our corn is yellowing. I don't think it's gonna make here. I just let it be. My pumpkin. My pumpkin's taken off. I wanted to wrap it around that cage back there. He's crossing through here. Guys, I'm gonna let him. I feel like I could cross them around the cage, but everything's going towards the left where the most sunlight is. This over here is shaded, and look at my wondrous flower garden. I had these few come up, and everything else is a dud on both sides. Most of those are weeds. So, I, I told you before I couldn't grow flowers, and obviously I cannot, but I can grow a vegetable anywhere. <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're gonna redo this for fall. We're gonna completely redo it. So, let's move on along, and kind of walking around the yard here. Show you this one bed y'all have seen from beginning to end. We picked our bush beans off of it. it. It's insane. Again, this is what intercropping will do. This is what chicken manure will do. We've got gray corn at the back back there. This got hit by the wind and rain badly. I'm just letting it be. All this, I'm, I'm trying to learn how the bed will grow. I'm gonna pan around. And I want you to see these Atlantic giant pumpkins. They're out here in the yard this far. This is the zoo that I have created. <laughs> so that's that. My beautiful sunflowers in all their glory. They fell over. They're probably six, seven foot tall. These come out of the chicken feed. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Guys, I love it, especially if it's free. I really love it. I know that flowers attract pollinators. But a lot of times it just attracts a smile on your face. That's it. I will take that back. I've got gladiolas up there that I planted years ago. I've got one purple one blooming. Those, those are from bulbs. I can grow a bulb, but I can't grow seed flowers for nothing unless it's sunflowers or zinnia. So we're just gonna move on from that. 
But this is a jungle. Me and my husband thinned it. You should have seen it before we thinned it. At one point, we were pulling up bush bean plants. And if you'll remember, I had one whole row that did not germinate. I don't know these Atlantic giants, how they're gonna do. I have no clue. I know the things are growing a foot a day. It's insane. Briscoe says he just doesn't know about all this. So for the fall, we're gonna completely flip it. In a couple weeks when I get these beans out, I'm gonna try to move these pumpkins into the bed and let them crisscross. But for right now, I'm just letting them do. My husband's not too happy about the lawnmower. He's, he's trying to weave and bob around these pumpkins. So tomato plants look great. You can see tomatoes everywhere. And they've just taken over. They have completely taken over, guys. It's been, you'll see my hose. I've got a hundred foot hose all across the yard. I've never had a year this good with tomatoes. So now I'm gonna show you my first raised bed I started out with, me and Briscoe are. And I want you to see this. This is crazy. So here you go. Look at this. I've got some weeds I need to get out, but it's rained every day. One zucchini's made it. I just let it go, okay? I intercropped radishes and kale everywhere to suppress weeds. For the most part, it's done it right here. So look here. I can't even find the lettuce at the bottom. It's there, but I can't find it. I've got my Savoy that's, he's ready. I need to pick him. Um, the squash is cadillac -ing. It's grown up to the tomatoes, but see the lettuce up under there? The good thing is, is I don't have a lot of weeds. It's all lettuce. If I want to prune these back, I can get to the lettuce. It's not tried to bolt. I've got some that's tall, but it's not tried to bolt. Most of this is black seeded Simpson. Bush beans, tons of weeds, squash, tomatoes at the back. Now look over here. Y'all saw the baby beginnings of this. I planted my Cherokee Trail of Tears pole beans. Look at them. They're three foot tall now. Most of them. Ooh, 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 no, no, no. Look here. You're looking at four, four and a half feet. That's just since this morning, y'all, because I come out here and I said, look, there's three. That's how fast this stuff grows. But look here. What we've planted on each side, I've got some lettuce that's going to bolt. I know that. It's okay. I've got spinach that is bolting down there. I've got cucumbers. These are just regular straight eight cucumbers on both sides of the beans. It's all going to run this fence together. It will work. So I'm going to show you my tomatoes down here. I think it'll work um, where I've intercropped with cucumbers. I'm going to be pickling a lot. The beans are giving the cucumbers nitrogen. They're just jump, 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 jump. And they all can run this trellis. Okay. So <laughs> look at this. I have never Never, ever, 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 ever had tomato plants like this. Ever, 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 ever. I'm worried they're gonna break, if you wanna know the truth. These are only 11 plants. Someone said you can't grow them in a cage. Well, you can. Um, they self go towards the sun. They'll self route themselves. But you can see the lettuce up under there. I'm not harvesting off that. I'm just letting it kind of roll, okay? Just to suppress weeds. Got a sunflower. They're loaded. Loaded, I see a little bit of blight, but for the most part, I've not had any blight. Thank goodness. They're just covered. So now I want to show you where I planted 28 tomatoes and 20 feet of space. These are four better boys. Four better boys that I started out with. They're way past this trellis. I need to prune these a little bit and straighten them up. Because look at this. They're starting to meet everything on each side. Cucumbers in grow bags on the other side. I'll pan it around and show you all that. Here's all the cucumbers, guys. You can do it. They're loaded with cucumbers. Loaded everywhere in there. Loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. You can do this. It's just in intensive. Someone said that. Intensive gardening. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. 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 This started out as a 20 by 30 bed. This right here that you're seeing, just this part, not the kale over there, it's a 20 by 30. I've got a huge gap I can walk through right there. So if you think you can't grow a lot of food, look at this. You can grow a ton of food in a 20 by 30 space, but you've got to be just precious on how you plant it and design it. You got to prune. I've let pruning go, but you've, you've got to work it. Now, this is a 10 by 20 bed. Look at my dinosaur kale. We've harvested beans Saturday. I've got squash ready to go again. 
These are the squash and the tomato cages. I have never, ever, ever seen anything like this. Bush beans is thinning out. They're puttering out. They always do after a couple pickings. They're just, they're just done. It's kind of a one and done thing. Got a tomato plant here. Um, some squash broke, and I'm gonna be honest, some of it I just pulled up. Like I, I was tired of it. <laughs> I just pulled it up. I thought I had way too much because I couldn't even walk through this bed. Um, bush beans. I've got some bell peppers here. We've got more squash. And this is what happens when it rains a lot. You're gonna get, if I can find it, there it is. See that squash with a brown bottom? That's blossoming rot. They're not getting pollinated. It's because of the rain. But, but look at this. There you go. Okay, let me show you my pumpkins really quick. I did a video two days ago on these and it was to here. Today, we're out to here. I've never seen anything like this. Um, these are the blue Hubbards. Got some Indian corn back there. I've got red okra mixed in somewhere. You can't find it. It's just, it's taken over everything. Um, this is crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, these are not blue Hubbards. These are my pumpkins. And I misspoke. I keep telling y'all that these are Connecticut field pumpkins. I think I know why they're doing so well and so big. Um, it's, they're going down the hill. I planted Big Macs. And I kept saying it was Connecticut field. I looked back on one of my videos, I had misspoken, and then I just kept misspeaking by accident. These are not regular pumpkins, from what I understand. My husband said, I think you planted Big Macs there. I had Big Macs and Atlantic Giant. So, uh, <laughs> that's that. So, they say they can get several hundred pounds. I don't know. It, it would kind of make sense. Look at the Blue Hubbard. It would make sense for them going way off down that hillside. It's crazy, okay? So, let me go to the back here. I've got cilantro. We've got banana peppers, carrots. Basil, beautiful basil. Beautiful, 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 beautiful cucumbers. I've got some weeds in here. We've got cucumbers everywhere. It's hard to show it to you on camera if you can spot them right there. I picked my first one this weekend. They're running up with the tomatoes, and let me tell you, look at that baby. What they're doing is they're staking the tomatoes. It couldn't be more brilliant. I've got one I need to tie up there. But these tomatoes that are loaded in here these cucumbers, if you'll see, they're grabbing the branches and they're putting their little curly cues around everything. They're wrapping the tomatoes on the cage. It could not be any better. It could not be any better. See here, they're, they're reaching out and they're intermingling with these tomatoes. It couldn't be any better. Because I come out here and I staked them once and I said, well, doggone, I've not had to do this anymore and they're still hanging on fine. Well, let me tell you, the cucumbers are doing the work for me. So, that's a food that's food for thought with intercropping. These are in grow bags. They said five gallon. Um, they've done great. And remember, I told you I filled them up half full of fresh chicken manure and they've been awesome. All right, guys. So, here's my beautiful landscape tour, garden tour. We'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead. Get out there and grow as much as you can. See you guys next time.